Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode with me, Shashank Udupa. And in today's episode, I'm going to talk about how to deal with burnout. And this is Frank with Shank episode five. So in today's episode, I'm going to talk about what is burnout, how do you reach this point of burnout, um, and how do you get out of burnout. So we're going to talk about that, and I'll also tell you what burnout is in very simple terms. It's going through massive phases of exhaustion and just too exhausted to do whatever. Your mind is screwed up big time, and you have no idea what to do. All of these problems and all of these questions, I've gone through it myself. So I'm going to come and tell you how you can actually get out of this and how it actually helps, right? So in today's episode, we're going to talk about burnout. Now, the first thing is what is burnout? Now, I'll tell you one quick story, right? So recently, when you saw this entire sprint that I did, which was zero, I mean almost ten thousand subs to hundred k subs on YouTube, that was a massive sprint I did for approximately six to seven months, where I went live almost what five times a day. Now, live versus pre-recorded, there's a massive difference. in live you come physically here and you talk and your brain is constantly working because you can't uh, screw up on the content that you're doing right whereas in pre recorded you can do multiple edits now because of that there was a massive burnout that happened to me and it's also called content creator fatigue because we got very i got very tired as well creating content so i took a small break went through this phase of burnout fought it came back outside and now i'm much stronger than ever right so now i'm planning my sprint too which is 200k and then maybe i'll burn out again but it's in a way good i love burnouts because you come to a point where you're reaching your threshold and then you break it and you go above your threshold and you become a better person right but we'll understand first what this burnout is right now burnout can be of different varieties right it's basically like a feeling you might feel this weird boredom you might get exhaustion you might get stress sometimes you don't have motivation to work sometimes you're like mai kyu kar raha hu kya kar raha hu um so all this is not depression this is more on the burnout side when you're working and stressing yourself out a lot now the common symptoms of burnout can be feelings of energy depletion and exhaustion so you just don't want to feel like working you just want to lie down all day and do nothing you want to basically give a break to your uh, brain um you know you just want to feel like you're doing nothing you have no motivation you're just skipping food you're just lying down relaxing um and you just don't want to concentrate right even if you want to concentrate it's very hard for you to concentrate because there's a lot of jumbled up things in your head that you don't know how to do anything right so this is basically how you deal i mean it comes to a burnout and by the way this is very common okay this is not something that is new this is very common happens to a lot of people uh and for people who work in a job right this is called a job burnout for them and for people who are like me content creators this is called content fatigue because we get exhausted thinking and creating and ideating about different type of uh content right now there are three types of burnout the first type of burnout is called overload bone burnout right now overload burnout burnout is basically when most people think they imagine a burnout right it is continuing to it's basically you're working at this unsustainable pace just for success for financial security and recognition that you're working so hard day in day out that you just burn out yourself and you're overloading yourself with a lot of work uh for these common goals but in that process you've burnt out your entire mind and your body at the same time the second is called under challenged burnout now just as heavy workload can lead to burnout lack of challenging work can also lead to burnout can you believe that if you actually don't work hard you can also go into burnout right this is very sad because people need to be stimulated people need to be engaged i need something to do all the time so sometimes people who are not satisfied with their career or not passionate about their career actually go into under challenged burnout and this is also quite 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 common right now without passion you lose interest and because of that you start disconnecting from your job and because of that you go into this entire spiral again now the third one is called neglect burnout now without a sense of purpose and agency at work people usually feel helpless right because you want to do something you are working hard but then nobody is looking at you right nobody is appreciating the work that you have done right so it's hard to stay engaged because you feel like whatever i'm doing bloody hell makes no difference right so why should i work so hard and put in all my effort when nothing is being appreciated so when employees feel that the work is too complex and they're also not getting uh, much appreciate from appreciation from it you start going into that negative spiral again and this might lead to a different type of burnout now i hope you've understood this point of burnout and i hope you're not in this section of burnout but if you are in this section of you know going through a burnout or if you have experienced burnout i'm going to tell you some quick ways that i usually do to like get out of burnout right now first thing again it's like a step by step process now like to be honest like when i went through a burnout this is my experience so i'm going to talk about that so when like to be honest your mind is very similar to an egg burji right because it's 
fried completely right it's it's fully stored up and you have 100 things your brain is moving into 100 different directions it's basically like this it's there's no clarity in your brain there's no clarity in your thought process and it's just too hard to understand and also you're in this environment where there is no time for you to understand what is happening there are 100 things running around in your head and you might have the same problem right now first thing you need to do is boss your mind is in a mess so first let's sort out the mind before we come to the body right first sort out the mind now to sort out your mind there are some few things that you can do right like i do a few things which is uh basically i first thing i do is change the environment this is the first and foremost thing you need to do change the environment and leave the place if you are in your home get out of there if you are in a different place get out of there take a small vacation and a lot of people do this right they take a vacation for uh when they get burned out it's actually very good because you're changing the environment you're in so your mind can start unlocking and becoming free right now what i would say is go away just just go away wherever you want to go how many ever days you want to go go away and try to go to your peace element right there is something called peace element i don't know how many of you like know this but for me my peace element is any water body if i'm sitting by a lake river or an ocean that's why you see me running to goa all the time right because i love goa because it's a beach body uh, and there's a massive ocean and i can just sit there the waves calm me down a lot and i can not, now start thinking with clarity some people like the uh, places where you can go up north where it's mountains and scenery that is also fine so everyone has a peace element go for that but don't overthink just go just don't i've seen a lot of people who are already so screwed up uh, with burnout and they're like are mai teen din jaunga ya char din jaunga par stay kidhar hoga par ye kidhar hoga ya what do not think just walk trust me it will help you a lot just go away find a place and just go there with and if you want to go with someone that also helps because it it's good for you to like get out stuff right just talk about it uh and get everything out so that is one second thing what i would say is as soon as you reach this new location right first thing you need to do is just sleep all day if you can just have this long day where you're not doing anything and you're just lying in bed you know those one of those days where you're just lying in bed watching something watching netflix and just not moving your body at all now that is something that you need to do when you are facing burnout or you are trying to recover from burnout don't do anything do give your mind a complete rest give your body a complete rest zero thought process zero thinking uh, zero negativity watch uh, movies which are evergreen if you want comedy movies go watch hera fairy or something just as stupid as possible but don't let your brain work at all that day right there is something called sleep debt that that is there right and in theory there's something called sleep debt your body needs a certain art uh, hours of sleep right when you're going through a burnout you are not sleeping properly your sleeping habits are way off so your body needs to recover that amount of sleep the sleep which is called sleep debt and once you do that your body will start becoming better so this is why you need to go and sleep the entire day and relax your body so now you have done relaxing your mind little bit and you have also relaxed your body little bit but again it is not done right we're not even like halfway there now what happened is your sleep debt is cleared okay now it's time to clear your mind completely now what you would do i mean what you should do or what i would do or what i usually do is first get up in the morning take a nice shower uh i either either grab a hot drink and sit somewhere or if you want you can just put some headphones and put some nice music and just go for a walk for me coffee works right for me it's good now there's something called as mind mapping so i don't know how many of you have heard about this process but mind mapping is a process where you basically sit down and map the entire things that are there in your mind and try to find this root cause problem and then slowly understand how to solve this root cause problem the main problem that you're facing right now with burnout is that there are 100 things going on in your head and there's no solution for it so first find out what is the root cause then build upon that root cause find the entire problem and put it on a map and once you find the entire problem and put it on a map start finding solutions to it it also helps if you want to take a pen and paper and just start writing down because that's like your mind map on a piece of paper but if you are strong with respect to visualization and you're a creative person you can actually sit down and just start thinking about it and how to like connect the dots and try to clear everything right so i usually do this it's basically a visual uh, organization basically you're trying to organize your entire thoughts so you can either do it visually or you can write down as well i usually just do visually right now take a book pen start writing down why why did you go through this burnout what is happening what is the root cause that is creating this problem and you'll understand everything now what also helps is sometimes people do this right if music distracts you right because you can't think i would say put on noise cancelling headphones and just go for a walk because sometimes people go for a walk and they clear their head and come back right for me it's sitting with a nice cup of coffee so put noise cancelling headphones but don't play music or play very light music and just go for a walk what will happen is slowly you'll start thinking about it and by the way be very honest when you're doing this right because if you're not honest there's no point in what you're doing now let me tell you how this also works right when you're going through this entire situation it might be difficult why do i say it might be difficult is because sometimes 
you know this this root cause that you're going going to find might not be very nice right might not be something you want to hear might be something that you're scared to even confront confront and might be painful because it might show you some of the inefficiencies that you have okay but all this is important because you will come out as a much better person so don't rush it it might take some time i'm not saying jao ek walk pe and pura you will clear your head and come out sometimes it takes 2 3 days for me as well but think understand process everything if there are problems in yourself understand those problems and see how you can solve it because sometimes you might just think like oh shit you know what i've not done this right or i've not done that right be honest don't be in a delusional format now once you're all of all of this is done you're halfway there what you have done is you've cleared your sleep debt you've cleared your mind a little bit and you've just found the problem now comes the solution part right because without the solution part if you go back to wherever you are in your old environment you will again have that nonsense egg burji nonsense right so now once you have analyzed the issue let's fight back let's find out the solution now all the problems you know the body is also well uh, rested your mind is at a small level of peace now just start planning the entire point of attacking that root cause problem you know that this root cause problem how to solve this now make plans plan plan right i would say have a backup plan as well because i don't want you to come back in the same situation so plan have a backup plan on both right and this might be annoying as hell because you might not like the plan you might not like the backup plan but it is very important cuz life is uncertain and anything can happen right so just be positive and say everything will work out in the future it might be a bad thing that you're doing right now maybe you're stuck in a job you hate uh, and the only option is to quit fine it might be a hard decision you have to take to quit right but it at least will become make you a better person in the future right so now that you have understood everything put down all the solutions put down the plan put down the backup plan as well and once you have done both of this your mind is super clear and your mind is also so strong right now that even if there is some new thing that comes as a problem you will just dodge it because you've already made a plan right and you have two plans ready made so this is what i would say right now whenever you hit a burnout or whenever you hit this point of saturation right it is good why because that is your ceiling right if you're breaking your ceiling next time your ceiling is here if you're breaking this next time your ceiling becomes here so you automatically as a person start getting two things right one you're moving out of your comfort zone and breaking your own barrier so you increase uh, and you know grow as a person the the second is the more complex this method is the more you're also trying to figure out how your mind works and how your brain works and how your body functions so with because of that you're becoming smarter and smarter and you're becoming more efficient with the way you deal with yourself and over time your burnout phase will actually recovery will actually reduce from 7 days to 5 days to 3 days to 2 days because now you are very fast in clearing out your sleep debt figuring out the problem figuring out the solution making a plan and then coming back to attack right so this was something that i did because once i went through that 100k burnout phase it was very exhausting and i'm like Oof. Okay, but then I'm like, okay, you know what? No, I can't stop right now. I need to go back and hit 200k. And I was procrastinating a lot. I was crying a lot, saying, "Oh my God, this is because I know what it took out of me." Right? There was also this fear that you know that 100k took out so much from me uh, and giving content to everyone out there that it became very exhausting for me. And I was like, I'm I was scared to go into the next sprint. But then I went, cleared my head, made a plan, made a proper plan, made this entire notion document. and i said boss now it's easy now i made a plan and now i'm sitting and one by one clearing out all the steps of my plan and it is a one track mind and i'm going to hit 200k that's it only single focus uske baad i might burn out again because it might reach my barrier or maybe not maybe i can manage both but now i'm confident and i'm positive that i can go hit this right so if you are in this state and you are in the state of burnout it is completely fine it is okay uh, i know it is tough i know you might struggle uh, but it's okay do what i'm telling you to do it will definitely help you don't rush the process take your time it might take longer for you than other people but don't rush the process take your time relax and get everything done and if this helped it'll be great right so guys these were like quick fun uh you know tips on how you can deal with burnout and i'm telling you all of you i mean i'm telling you guys this from my own experience right so that you you can deal with it better and that is what i'm trying to do uh, because all of this affects the person you are becoming and you will become and because of all this you should not get affected and you should grow as a person that's my main goal right that all of you guys grow financially and also grow as a person individually right so i hope you guys like this episode and if you did like this episode very simple steps that you have to do this is two more steps that you have to do click on that like button downstairs and also click on that red color subscribe button um and that will help me a lot as well okay so this is me shishank gurupa signing off i hope you guys like this video i'll be coming out with more frank with shank episodes uh, over the month again this is me shishank gurupa signing off i'm going to see you guys soon bye